Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. All right, you. So today, I'm going to be smoking a grape-flavored backwoods cigar from Mexico, which I will admit I am quite excited to do, as I have never tried a grape flavored backwoods before. I've heard that this variety of backwoods is sold on the United States market. However, for whatever reason, I've never, ever, ever been able to find these in the United States, no matter where I visit. And so as such, when I saw this pack of backwoods for sale in Mexico at a smoke shop for $13 USD, I had to pick it up. And so as such, I did exactly that. And I certainly am very, very, very excited to smoke a grape-flavored backwoods for the first time in today's video. Even though I'm not expecting to enjoy <laughs> this backwoods cigar right here. Because I hate grape-flavored stuff. I don't mind grapes. I just hate grape-flavored stuff as a whole. And so as such, I'm definitely not expecting to enjoy this cigar. But I don't want to say anything for certain. I do hope that I enjoy the grape flavored backwoods that I'm holding in my hand right now, but I will admit I'm not expecting to. But I do hope that I do nonetheless. Now, there is one thing that I want to acknowledge before I go any further into the video though. While yes, I did buy this grape-flavored backwood cigar in Mexico when I visited a couple months back. This backwood cigar right here, from what I can tell at least, was not actually made for the Mexican market. And the first indication we can see of that is the warning label on the front of the packaging, which is all in English. And of course, in Mexico, the language that is mostly spoken is Spanish. So it doesn't really make much sense for a Mexican market backwoods to have a warning label in English, now does it? And so as such, that's the first indication that this pack of backwoods was probably not meant for sale in, well, Mexico. The second indication that this pack of backwoods was probably not meant for sale in Mexico was the warning label on the back of the packaging, which once again is in English. And then the third indication is the sticker to the side of the warning label on the back of the packaging right here, which says duty free only. That's right, y'all. This is a duty free pack of backwoods. And if I had to guess, at least it was definitely not meant for sale in Mexico. And somebody decided to just pick up a bunch of backwoods as they were flying back from somewhere else at the airport, or they just went to a duty-free store or something like that kind of thing and bought a bunch of backwoods, and then they decided to sell them in their smoke shop. That's my guess, at least. Yeah, this pack of backwoods, while I might have bought it in Mexico, from what I know, at least, was definitely not meant for sale in Mexico when it was first produced. But nonetheless, I certainly am quite excited to smoke this backwoods cigar right here, and I certainly am quite excited to try a grape flavored backwoods for the first time in today's video, and I certainly am quite excited to point out all the differences uh, between a American market backwoods cigar and a not American backwoods, uh, a not American market backwoods cigar, as this is a backwoods that I know for sure was not meant for the American market. This is a duty-free pack after all, and it was meant for export. It is not a pack of United States backwoods. I know that for sure. I just don't know if this is actually meant for sale on the Mexican market, although I do highly doubt that. I do highly doubt that. But, you know, I'm quite excited to highlight all the differences between an American pack of backwoods and a, well, not American pack of backwoods in today's video. And I'm also quite excited to simply smoke a grape flavored backwoods for the first time. But I'm not only going to be, of course, smoking a grape flavored backwoods cigar for the first time in today's video, I'm also going to be giving this entire pack a light review. And so as such, before I get one of the grape flavored backwoods that I bought in Mexico all out, and before I go ahead and get it all lit up, I gotta first off quickly go over the packaging. And so as such, without further ado, let's go ahead and do 
just that. Starting off with the background, which in my personal opinion is a pretty nice look. It is pretty much just the same textured look over and over and over again. While the textured look does look detailed, there's does look detailed. There's not really actually all that many interesting details to it. It's just the same textured look over and over and over again. And we can see the textured look has a very nice purple sort of sheen to it. I definitely have to say, and the textured look looks very much in specific to me at least like a corn cob with no corn on it. It looks pretty good as a whole if I do say so myself and I think the purple sheen to the background is really meant to emphasize that this is indeed a grape flavored backwoods and I think it does a pretty good job at emphasizing that that is for sure. There's really not much else to talk about about the background I will admit it's just very much a corn cob like texture that's all in purple. It's not a bad look by any means but it's definitely not like the most interesting look in the world by any means either. At the top of the packaging we can just see the actual uh, backwoods logo itself right here. We can just see it just says backwoods right there all in red on a white background with a purple border going all the way around that white background. We can see there's a little bit of a copyright symbol right there. Pretty decent look if I do say so myself. Pretty much the same exact Backwoods logo that we see on cigarellos or cigars, whatever you want to call Backwoods, here in the United States. Really nothing different at all if I do say so myself. Below the Backwoods logo itself, we can just see in white, it just says authentic cigars right there with the authentic kind of stretching around, curving around the cigars text right here. All of this white text is on a purple background, but with no sort of drop shadow and no sort of border going around the purple background or anything like that kind of thing. It's just a purple background to just emphasize the text just a little bit more on the sort of corn cob purple background, I definitely have to say. Doesn't look bad by any means though. We can see, of course, stretching from the top all the way down, down here, there is an actual backwood cigar and it says actual size right here in white on a, once again, purple background on the background of the sort of corn cob purple uh, sort of actual packaging background and everything like that kind of thing. But we can actually see the uh, cigar itself right here and it does indeed say actual size. So this is supposed to be the actual size of one of the backwood cigars. I hope it actually is the actual size that is for sure. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. Below this we could just see it just says five cigars right there. This is indeed a five pack of backwoods and it just says that once again in white text on a uh, sort of purple background. I definitely have to say. Moving to the side of that, we can see going through the actual cigar design right here, which stretches all the way across the packaging. We can just see there's a little yellow sticker looking thing right here that isn't actually a sticker as it's actually part of the packaging. We can just see it's a, got a yellow background and then in red, it just says grape right there. And then there is a blackish purple-ish, I'd have to say blackish purplish border going around that sort of uh, yellow background. And it's all very spiky and everything like that kind of thing. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. And then below everything right here, we could just see there is the warning label right here, which just says smoking seriously harms you and others around you, which is a pretty basic warning label if I do say so myself. And this warning label is literally a sticker. We can see it's a uh, peeling up just a little bit right there. This warning label is literally a sticker. I'm not going to peel it off or anything like that kind of thing, but I could if I wanted to. And that's pretty much all there is to the packaging. And at a glance, the packaging of these grape flavored backwoods from Mexico is very similar, if not completely identical to pretty much every other backwood cigar from the United States. I mean, like, it's not quite identical. Of course, there are some actual design differences, but the main design traits of the packaging are pretty much identical to backwood cigars from the United States. There's really not too much interesting stuff going on, I will admit. The interesting stuff really starts on the back of the packaging itself. But I'm going to go ahead and cover that in just a moment after I kind of give you guys my final thoughts on this front of the packaging. So what are my final thoughts on the front of the packaging? Well, I think as far as backwood cigars go, this has a more basic look than not. This, the grape backwood cigar, has a more basic packaging than not. That's not really a bad thing. This is still much better packaging than not, in my personal opinion. It's just when compared to other backwoods, it's a little bit more basic than not, but it's still very distinct from a distance, not only as a backwood cigar, but also as the grape 
backwoods cigars, and as a whole, it looks pretty good in my purse, but it definitely has a better look to it than most other Cigarello or backwoods cigar competitors on the market within the United States, such as Swisher Sweets, White Owl, or Game, or something like that. Definitely still better packaging than any of those brands, in my personal opinion. But without further ado, let's go ahead and move on to the back of the packaging after I actually get my gloves out of my out of my backpack because I'm actually getting quite chilly. When I sat down in this seat about, I'd have to say, uh, 20 minutes ago now, I was in the sun and I was pretty warm and now the sun is going down and everything like that kind of thing. And I've actually gotten quite chilly. <laughs> I've actually gotten quite chilly. So I'm actually gonna put my gloves on because my hands are freezing, y'all. My hands are freezing. I gotta put my gloves on because man, oh man, my hands are cold, y'all. My hands are cold. But as said, the main interesting stuff in my personal opinion really starts with the back of the packaging. And we can see going around the center of the back of the packaging right here, there is indeed once again that sort of, I'd have to say, um, corn cob purple look kind of thing, the purple corn cob look, uh, corn cob texture look, I do suppose is the right way of putting it. Looks pretty good as a whole in my personal opinion, certainly no complaints on my behalf. We can see there is a rip thing right here kind of thing, and it just says in white on a clean or on a pure purple background, it just says uh, to open, tear corner, and pull, tear tape along edge. And then as you run your fingers along this, you realize there's no Ziploc. There's no Ziploc on this pack. And that is something that I have never not had on a United States pack of Backwoods. But I have previously tried a pack of Backwoods Honeyberry that I bought in Japan previously. And that pack did not have a Ziploc on it either. So I personally think, possibly at least, that the vast majority, if not all, backwoodses that are sold outside of the United States may not have a Ziploc on them. I've never bought a pack of backwoods inside the United States that didn't have a Ziploc, let me just put it that way, and this pack does not have a Ziploc. Pretty interesting if I do say so myself. You know, no Ziploc I said that is one of the major differences between this pack and an American pack of backwoods in my personal opinion, but we can just see just says a tear corner along edge right there and then we just get the dotted line right there where we're supposed to rip across and everything like that we could just see the uh, backwoods logo itself right there looking kind of odd if i do say so myself because the actual b itself is really 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 close to the edge it looks like a misprint to me but it is what it is kind of thing just says backwoods authentic cigars right there and then it just says grape right there basically just giving you some of the uh, details you see on the uh, front of the packaging and everything like that kind of thing nothing really too interesting going on if i do say so myself right up here we could just see it just says fold flap back twice to seal in freshness it does not say ziploc it says fold flap back twice so yeah, no Ziploc on this pack from what I can tell at least. Below all of these details right here, we get the classic Backwoods market segmentation spiel though. Really, not, nothing too much uh, interesting going on with the market segmentation spiel. Nothing with the normal Backwoods spiel that you see on the back of their packaging and everything like that kind of thing. Uh, gives you an indication that uh, it is from a country other than America, that it is an international variety of backwards. But nonetheless, today I'm gonna read it off to y'all, of course, and we can just see it's all in white on that purple background, of course. It just says, years ago when a man wanted a good cigar, he'd roll his own. These cigars didn't look that refined, but they sure tasted and smelled good. Now you can enjoy the same kind of smoke with Backwoods. We start with a filler tobacco, which is selected for its flavor. Then we roll it in gentle tasting broadleaf, a dark tobacco, excuse me, that is aged for at least 12 months to bring out the authentic, authenticity, authenticity, enjoyable taste and pleasing aroma. We make them like they used to, Backwoods grape cigars. Uh, maybe there is actually a little bit of a difference because I don't remember reading on American backwards packaging about the whole age for at least 12 months. Maybe I just forgot that in all honesty, but I don't remember seeing that. So maybe there is a little bit of a difference if I do say so myself, but I'm not sure in all honesty. We can just see below the market segmentation spiel though. On this side, it just says made in the Dominican Republic. Of course, made in the exact same country where all other backwoods are made, even the backwoods that are sold in the United States. Then to the side right here, we can see there are some details covered by the duty-free sticker right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this duty-free sticker back just a little bit, just so you guys can see. We can just see it just says, 
USA tax exempt for sale only outside of the United States. And that is, of course, another indication that this pack of backwoods is not meant for sale in the United States because it literally says that this pack of backwoods is not meant for sale in the United States. And another indication that this pack of backwoods is not meant for sale in the inside the United States is the lack of any text saying ITG or Imperial Tobacco or Imperial Group on the back of this packaging. Instead, it says Altatus right there. It just says Altatus USA Inc. P.O. Box 407098, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33340-9868. Uh, and so, yeah, this pack of Backwoods is not distributed by ITG Brands, which is the distributor of Backwoods inside the United States, which is, which is uh, the United States subsidiary of Imperial Tobacco, now known as Imperial Brands, actually. This pack of Backwoods is instead distributed by Altatus, which is, of course, still owned by Imperial Brands, Imperial Tobacco, whatever you want to call them kind of thing. It's just a different subsidiary of the, theirs, and one of theirs that focuses on cigar sales and non-USA sales these days and stuff like that kind of thing. So this pack of Backwoods was not distributed by ITG. It was distributed by Altatus instead, and that is, of course, another difference between an American pack of Backwoods and a, well, Mexican or just international pack of Backwoods in general. Moving on below, the duty-free sticker right here, though. We could just see the barcode right there, and that's pretty much all there is to the back of the packaging. Really, not much else going on, in all honesty, and that's pretty much all I had to cover about the packaging as a whole. Overall, there definitely certainly are some differences between the United States packaging and uh, international packaging, that is for sure, but it's really not, none of the differences are really all that big, in all honesty. But without further ado, I do suppose now I should probably go ahead and get this pack of Backwoods all opened up, so I can go ahead and uh, get one of the Backwoods cigars all out. So I can go ahead and actually let you guys know how these cigars uh, look like, uh, what they taste like, what the uh, quality of them is like. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know how they smoke, of course. And right off the back, right off the back, right off the bat, these smell like straight great medicine. I ain't going to lie. All these do not smell particularly pleasant. That is for sure. And there's also, wow, these have probably been in the packaging for quite a while. These are... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. These are really dry, y'all. Just uh, feeling this one right here. I don't know if you guys can see. This one's cracked. I cannot actually have the one on the very top. That one's actually cracked. Yeah, these have been in the pack for a very, very, very long time. They are, just right off the bat, very, very, very dry. And the smell I'm getting from them right off the bat, <laughs> I do not like the smell. I do not like the smell. It smells, to me at least, like grape medicine. Not a fan. Not a fan. It smells like straight grape medicine. Really, really, really sweet, icky grape medicine. That's what it smells like. I am not a fan of the smell of these backwoods, as that is for sure. Not a fan. Yuck. No, thank you. No, thank you. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Uh, I'm okay. I'm okay. Well, let's go ahead and get this pack. Let's go and get one of these all out. And let's go and take a look at... I'm actually not gonna use this one. This one has stuff all over it and everything like that kind of thing. This is also a little bit sticky. Because the, the tip of the cigar is indeed sweetened, so that does make sense. You know, this is really, really, really dry. We can literally see there's a crack right there that's formed. I'm not going to use that backwoods in today's video. I'm going to use a different one, I do think. I'm going to use, oh, wow. Is this one cracked as well? This one's kind of falling apart a little bit, but it doesn't actually appear to be cracked. There's a little bit of a crack right there. I'm going to get another one out. These are really dry, y'all. These have obviously been in the pack for quite a while. Is this one cracked? These all have bits on like the end of them as well. I assume because of the, the sticky sort of uh, stuff on the end, maybe some moisture got into the packers. Oh, wow. And there is like a bunch of like gunk on like the inside of the pack as well or something like that kind of thing. I'm not sure if that was there from stock or what, but yeah, it looks like, I'm just gonna take all of these out in all honesty. This one looks like the cleanest one kind of thing. This one is definitely the cleanest one. Okay, this is definitely the cleanest one. I'm gonna be smoking this one in today's video. I do think the last one is a little bit gunky like the others. I'm gonna go ahead and put all of the others in the pack. Once again, though, just like that. All of the cigars are very, very, very dry though, and this one is no exception, even though it does not have any of the like uh, tobacco bits stuck to the end of it or anything like that. Well, it does still have a little bit, but not much in all honesty. Smelling the cigar right off the bat though, yeah, it smells like straight, sweet, grape medicine in all honesty. Not a very pleasant smell if I do say so myself. Yeah, I'm definitely not thinking this is gonna be all that much of my preference, that is for sure. 
It does indeed have a sweetened tip though. I can say that for certain. And that sweetened tip is not so bad, but the sweetened tip definitely does have a more distinct taste than just like a sweetened tip or just like a sugary tip or something like that kind of thing. It tastes like sweet grape sort of medicine. I definitely have to say it's actually not a not not that bad of a taste if I do say so myself. You know, definitely a sweetened tip on this backwoods right here. I don't know if grape flavored backwoods from the United States have a sweetened tip on them. I've only ever tried a handful of backwoods from the United States that have sweetened tips. And all of the backwoods I've tried, granted only two backwoods I've tried from outside of the United States, both of them, including this one right here, have had a sweetened tips, of course. Um, sweetened tips, of course. Well, not of course, actually. But both of them have had sweetened tips. I've previously tried a Backwoods Honey Berry from Japan, and now this, a grape uh, Backwoods from uh, Mexico. And both of those two have had sweetened tips when I haven't tried I haven't tried a lot of Backwoods from the United States with sweetened tips, which is quite interesting. Maybe I just missed them. I'm not sure in all honesty. But, yeah, sweetened tip. That is something that is interesting to mention, I will admit. The quality of the cigar as a whole seems to be pretty good. We can see the uh, wrapper of the cigar itself it seems to be in i'd have to say better condition than not no cracks or anything like that kind of thing which is very nice if i do say so myself i am uh, going to be very careful i'm not going to squeeze this because if i squeeze it i'm afraid i'm going to crack it because this is extremely extremely dry i'm gonna lie and it just feels so dry in my hand and so i am expecting this cigar to be a little bit rougher than not that is for sure although i do hope that as i smoke it some moisture will get into it and it'll start getting a little bit more humidified and it'll kind of uh get a little bit easier to smoke that is for sure but the quality of the cigar itself is pretty decent, not bad quality by any means. The blend of the tobacco uh, seems to be very much uh, both a light and a dark blend of tobacco. Really not too much going on, if I do say so myself. Yep, still smells like medicine grape. I do suppose that is what it is, that is for sure. But I think that's all I had to cover about the actual quality of the cigar itself. Not bad quality cigar, just very, very, very dry, if I do say so myself. These, have, these are definitely... Um, hurting from the lack of a Ziploc on them, that is for sure. And I'd have to say as well, they've probably been in the pack for quite a while. Uh, of course, they were originally sold at a duty-free store, and then they were sold at a, at, a, at a smoke shop in Mexico. So who knows truly how long they were on the shelf. They might have been on the shelf for over a year. Who knows? Well, over a year as a whole, not on like over a year at the smoke shop. I am going to real quick just try to flatten all these out and everything like that kind of thing so I can actually fold this over properly and everything like that. There we go, just did that. But, but now I do suppose without further ado, I should probably go ahead and get my lighter out of my pocket. And now that I have my lighter out of my pocket, I do think it's now time for me to go ahead and get this, a grape flavored backwoods from Mexico, all it up. And it's time for me to go ahead and let you guys know how this cigar right here actually is. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get it all lit up and give a grape flavored backwoods a shot. Yes sir, yes sir, you know what I'm saying, I'm saying. <sighs> right off the bat, lit up pretty easily, I certainly cannot complain. Right off the bat, definitely a little bit harsher than your standard backwoods. I figure probably because uh, it's quite dry. I figure it's probably just because it's quite dry, not because of anything else. The airflow does seem to be a little bit more open than your standard backwoods as well. But I, I think that's just due to uh, like um, manufacturing inconsistencies, not really due to the fact that this is a pack of duty free or a pack of Mexican backwoods or anything like that kind of thing. And the taste, thankfully, is not as medicine grapey as I was thinking it was going to be. It is still, you can very, you can still very much tell. This is a very heavily topped tobacco, in my personal opinion. It has a very heavy, sort of, very sweet, almost candy-like grape topping to it kind of thing. There is really no taste of actual tobacco in there. And the sweetened tip is certainly making it quite sweet. The actual smoke itself is not super sweet, but the sweetened tip certainly makes it taste a lot sweeter than it actually is, that is for sure. Let's go and test the body real quick. Mm. 
body is pretty small, as to be expected from a backwoods. I'm not super surprised by any means. Definitely rougher than standard for a backwoods as well, but this is quite dry, definitely drier than your standard backwoods. Uh, no surprise that it's a, a little bit rougher, I will, I, I will admit. And um, airflow wise, When compared to other backwoods I have smoked previously, the airflow is a little bit more open, but the draw is still quite heavy, but not quite as heavy as some other backwoods I've had before. It's just manufacturing inconsistencies. I'm glad I chose this specific backwoods to smoke from the pack because I'd have to get, if I had to guess, this is probably the best smoking backwoods from the entire pack. As a whole, what are my thoughts on grape flavored backwoods right off the bat? I will admit, not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I really was not expecting to enjoy this cigar at all, frankly put kind of thing. But it's really not all that bad. It's really not all that bad, and it's not nearly as icky medicine grape flavor like I thought it was going to be. But of course, there is still a decent amount of grape flavor in there, but it's not nearly as icky as I thought it was going to be, and it's not a bad flavor by any means kind of thing. Not a bad flavor by any means. I really cannot complain in all honesty. I think I'm going to go and try to grab myself a little bit of a screenshot real quick. Well, hopefully that will do as a screenshot. We will have to see, you know what I'm saying? We will have to see. Right off the bat though, this backwoods is quite harsh as well kind of thing. It is quite dry and you can definitely tell it's quite dry because it is so harsh. And I've never actually had a backwoods give me a little bit of tongue bite before, but this backwoods is so dry that it is actually giving me a little bit of tongue bite. As said though, I've never seen great backwoods for sale in the United States. And I figure that some of y'all have probably never seen them for sale either. And so as such, one of the questions I figure some of y'all may have is how good I think this would be to roll other stuff into. So how good do I think this backwoods would be to roll other stuff into? Well, as long as the wrapper itself is humidified properly, I don't think that you'll have any issue rolling up as long as you know how to roll a backwoods, of course. And I think that the taste of the backwoods will do a pretty good job. I think the taste of the great backwoods will do a pretty good job of combining with the taste of whatever you're rolling into the backwoods kind of thing, if not completely overwhelming the taste of it. But if I had to guess, I don't think it's going to completely overwhelm the taste. I think you're just gonna get a nice little bit of a grape sort of flavor in your mouth as you're smoking the backwoods with your other stuff rolled into it, of course, kind of thing. That's kind of what I'm thinking. I don't think it's gonna like completely overwhelm the taste, but I do think it's definitely gonna give you another taste in there that is for sure, and a much more intense taste than not. Of course, do take what I say with a grain of salt. I don't roll anything into anything kind of thing. I don't smoke uh, that sort of stuff or anything like that kind of thing. So do take what I say with a grain of salt. But, but I do think that this, the Grape Backwoods Cigar would be good to roll other stuff into that is for sure. And out of the lineup of Backwoods I've tried so far that have more intense flavors than not, I'd have to say that this is probably, in my personal opinion, would I would have to say that this would probably be one of the better ones to roll up with, just due to the flavor being more intense than not and sitting in my mouth for quite a while as well. 
Um, like when compared to, let's say, like the banana backwoods, the flavor is actually much more intense, I'd have to say. Um, but when compared to like the backwoods Russian cream or uh, like the backwoods honey berry, the flavor is just about exactly the same. So I'd have to say this cigar, the great uh, flavor backwoods uh, as a whole, is, is more comparable taste intensity wise to, let's say, a backwoods Russian cream or a uh, backwoods honey berry taste intensity wise. However, taste wise, I'd have to say it has more of a, a candy fruit like taste like a backwoods banana or something like that kind of thing, like a banana fl um, flavored backwoods. That's what I'd say at least. That's what I'd say at least. Excuse me, like the banana flavored backwards in my purse when it has very much a taste like um, like a, a banana flavored like gumball or something like that kind of thing. And this has a taste very much like a like grape flavored gumball. Tastes very similar, but I'd have to say the taste of the grape is more intense than the taste of the banana, in my personal opinion. Would I buy a grape flavored backwards again though? Well, I'm not sure right now. I'll have to let y'all know as we get towards the end of the video. At the moment though, eh, there's other backwoods I prefer. I mean, like this isn't bad by any means kind of thing. I don't, I don't mind smoking this cigar, but I would have preferred to buy a single pack if I could have, frankly put. Um, the grape, while I don't mind it, it's not super bad, I will admit. It's not like super bad, icky, medicine, grape-like taste. It's still not the greatest taste in the world, and it's still not really super much all that much of my preference. I definitely prefer the Backwoods Russian Cream, small batch, or uh, the Backwoods Honey Berry, that is for sure. But the Great Backwoods are by no means a bad cigar, I will admit. And I'd have to say, like, when compared to the Cognac Backwoods sold in the United States, I actually prefer these over the Cognac Backwoods, which is something I really wasn't expecting to say in today's video, but I'm, ex I'm saying it nonetheless. I'm just looking at the distance. I parked my car like off camera over there. I'm just looking at my car right now. Oh man, looks so good. I, lo I love my car. I love my car, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. But, yeah, not bad, not bad. I'm surprised I haven't seen these for sale in my local area, frankly. But I think they'd sell. I think the grape flavor back would sell, would sell in my local area. Uh, for context, I do suppose I should probably say which area I'm in. I have heard that, of course, grape flavor backwoods are sold in the United States. I just don't know where. Um, I'm located in North Carolina, for context. Um, the Southeast United States uh, is a wider region. Um, and I've never, I've never seen grape flavor backwoods for sale in my local area where I live in North Carolina kind of thing nor in really any other area in the United States either. I've, I've visited Atlanta a couple months back before I visited Mexico. I, I didn't see any grape flavored backwoods in Atlanta. Um, I've been up north once or twice as well. I don't remember seeing any grape flavored backwoods up there. Maybe grape flavored backwoods are more of a, a West Coast exclusive. Uh, I'm not sure in all honesty, I'm not sure. Well, I guess not anymore because California introduced their flavor ban very recently, but yeah, maybe they're more of like a Midwest, West Coast, in, West Coast exclusive, exclusive. I don't know in all honesty, I have no clue. Or maybe they're a duty-free exclusive or, a, or outside the United States exclusive. I don't know. I've heard that they're sold inside the United States, but I don't know anything for sure. <sighs> was the $13 I paid, <laughs> was the $13 I paid for these grape flavored backwoods worth it though? I mean like, it was worth it for me to be able to try grape flavored backwoods for the first time for sure. Um, but was it worth it for the pack five? If I had already tried a pack of grape flavored backwoods, would $13 had been worth it? No, these do not come off as really anything. If I had to guess all that different from grape flavored backwoods sold in the United States, I could very well be wrong. Um, 
as I've never tried a great flavored backwoods from the United States before, but uh, $13 is a lot of money. That's about double the amount of money I'd spend on a five pack of backwoods in my local area. Five pack backwoods in my local area costs anywhere from seven to eight bucks, depending where you go kind of thing. Um, $13 is pretty exorbitant. $13 is pretty exorbitant. Almost double the amount of money I normally spend. Yeah, it's yeah, it's not worth the money. But I am very glad that I, I picked up this pack nonetheless, just simply because if I hadn't, I don't know when the next time I'd have the opportunity to try a great flavor, flavor backwoods would be. But what is this taste? What what is the taste of this cigar actually like though? Now that I've been smoking it for a little while, I'd have to say. Well, I'd have to say it's still very much the same taste I described when I first got this cigar all lit up and everything like that kind of thing. It's uh, very much still a, I'd have to say, candy-like, sweet, grape-like taste. Now that I've been smoking it for a little bit, there is a little bit of an icky uh, sort of medicine taste in there but it's really not significant it's very easily ignorable if i do say so myself it's not a big deal at all by any means in my personal opinion um but the taste as a whole is very much a sort of candy like grape like taste kind of thing um that is for sure uh in, in my personal opinion at least um the the taste of the smoke itself The taste of the cigar itself, my nose is running, is not all that sweet. The taste of the cigar itself is not all that sweet. And the main sweetness from the cigar definitely comes from the sweetened tip, that is for sure. So when you get rid of the sweetened tip, while the taste is still very much, in my personal opinion, a sweeter than not candy-like, grape-like taste, it's not as sweet as it is with the sweetened tip. And so if this cigar did not have a sweetened tip, it would not be nearly as sweet as it is right now and I also don't think that the taste would be nearly as intense either either as I do feel like some of the intensity of the taste is coming from the sweetened tip which is not only sweetened with sugar but also has a little bit of grape flavoring as the in there as well kind of thing so I definitely do think that if there this cigar did not have a sweetened tip it would not be nearly as sweet as I am describing that is for sure The draw, the airflow is still quite constricted, which means that the draw is quite constricted, quite heavy. Still, no surprise, exact same as it was at the uh, very beginning of the smoke, if I do say so myself. The roughness and smoothness has definitely gotten a little bit smoother. I do feel like the smoke has humidified the cigar just a little bit kind of thing. So yeah, I definitely say that this cigar has gotten a little bit smoother as I've continued smoking it, but maybe it's just my throat getting a little bit more used to actually smoking the cigar and everything like that kind of thing. Wouldn't surprise me if it was actually that. Um, and I'd have to say strength-wise, this cigar is definitely, it's not like a light backwood by any means kind of thing. It's definitely giving me a little bit of a nice relaxing buzz, that is for sure, but not like a super intense uh, relaxing buzz by any means kind of thing, but I'm definitely feeling more buzz than not. That is for sure. Definitely nothing to laugh at, I ain't gonna lie. Definitely nothing to laugh at. It is definitely a little bit stronger than not. And I can say that uh, this is probably a real backwoods. That was one thing. I don't think I mentioned it at the very beginning of this video. Um, I don't think I mentioned this uh, at the beginning of this video, but since this was sold in Mexico and since it is a duty-free uh, cigar and everything like that kind of thing, I didn't see anything on the packaging that indicated really that it looked like a fake backwoods. Um, but I'm sure that's a question that some of y'all might be having, uh, whether this is actually a fake backwoods or a real backwoods or something like that kind of thing. And I don't think this is a fake backwoods. Uh, there's nothing on the packaging that makes me think that this is a fake backwoods. It looks like it's a, just an outside the United States uh, variety of backwoods or or. Uh, not ver variety version backwards. It's just a, it's just an, it's just meant for sale outside the United States kind of thing. That's what it looks like to me. And the taste of the cigar as a whole very much comes off like a backwards taste. It doesn't come off like a, like it's not what it's supposed to be or anything like that kind of thing. It does very much come off like it's a real backwards, that is for sure. And so I'm pretty certain in saying that this is a real backwards cigar. <sighs> 
but I am also quite certain in saying that it was probably not meant for sale on the Mexican market. But yeah, no, as a whole, not too bad. Not too bad if I do say so myself. <sighs> Definitely not quite exactly to my preference taste-wise, but not bad. I don't regret buying these. I'm glad. I, I'm very glad I got to try um, a great flavor backwards for the first time. That is for sure. I'm, I am very glad I got to try a great flavor backwards for the first time. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Certainly, no complaints on my behalf. <sighs> you know, I don't really have anything else to say. In all honesty, I've covered what the taste is actually like. As said, the taste is very much a. Um, the taste is very much a um, sort of sweeter than not candy-like, grape-like taste. That does taste a little bit like grape medicine, I will admit, but it's not super intense. It's very easily ignorable. The main sweetness comes from the sweetened tip, for sure. That is not just sweetened with sugar, but is also sweetened with some sort of grape as well kind of thing. That definitely makes the taste a little bit more intense and definitely a little bit more sweet as well, that is for sure. But the smoke itself is not all that sweet, but it does have a very nice grape-like taste to it. And as a whole, this cigar was not bad by any means kind of thing. Not bad by any means. <sighs> and even though grape is not really all that much to my personal preference taste-wise, I will admit I do still prefer this Backwoods over some other Backwoods I have tried as of late. Um, the grape flavor Backwoods definitely still better in my personal opinion than... Um, uh, the new um, flavor band compliant backwoods from uh, like California and stuff like that kind of thing. Definitely still better than those in my personal opinion, but I wouldn't buy a pack of great backwoods again. It's not that much to my preference. To put, let me put it that way kind of thing. And it's definitely not one of my top backwoods ever, but it's not bad. And I am enjoying the smoke I'm having right now. I'm thinking it's probably going to take me quite a while to smoke my way through the rest of these though. Probably going to stick them in a humidor or something like that kind of thing. Try to humidify them up. Or maybe I'll give them to friends or something like that kind of thing. I'm not sure. They're really not all that much of my preference. I, I might smoke them. I, I don't really want to let the $13 go to waste, so I probably will smoke them. But they're really not all that much of my perf personal preference, I will admit. <sighs> not that I really smoke raw backwoods all that often off video anyway. seeing something fly in the sky right now. I can't tell if it's a plane or if it's a drone. I think it's a plane. It's definitely not a big plane. It looks like a little Cessna or something like that kind of thing, but it's pretty quick. It's, it's definitely flying a little bit quicker than not. That is for sure. Must be pretty chilly in that plane unless they got heat. I assume they probably got heat, but it's pretty chilly down here. I imagine it's even colder up in the sky and everything like that kind of thing. I'm definitely feeling a little bit more buzzed than not right now though. That is for sure. Definitely feeling a little bit more buzzed right now than not. That is for sure. I did say about, I think, 10 minutes ago now that this cigar was not super strong, and eh, it's not the strongest cigar I've ever had, but man, oh man, I'm feeling buzzed right now, especially since I'm inhaling. Not really supposed to inhale backwards, but I do nonetheless. And I've definitely got a little bit more of an intense buzz than not, than that, that, that is for sure, so I certainly cannot complain. Well, I don't think I really have anything else to say about the grape flavored backwoods from Mexico that I smoked in today's video. I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. Let me know in the comments down below. If you guys have ever tried grape flavored backwoods before, have you guys ever tried grape flavored backwoods? Let me know what y'all think of them. If you guys haven't tried grape flavored backwoods, let me know uh, what you guys think of them based off this video. Are they something that you would like to see? Oh, hi, how's it going? It's okay. <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below, though, if you guys uh, have great flavored backwoods uh, sold in your local area. Do you guys have uh, great flavored backwoods sold in your local area? Uh, do you guys not? Let me know in the comments down below. But uh, I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video, of course. Oh. There's puppies wandering around and everything like that kind of thing. They're very cute. Very cute puppies. But I'm getting a little bit distracted. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have ever tried 
great flavored backwoods before. Do you guys like them? Do you guys not? Let me know in the comments down below. Have you guys not tried? If you guys, oh, I'm getting more, it's still jumbled up. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have ever tried grape flavored backwoods. Let me just put it that way. If you guys haven't, let me know what you guys' thoughts on grape flavored backwoods are based off of this video. And let me know also if grape flavored backwoods are sold in your local area. They're not sold in mine. Are they sold in yours? I'm curious to find out that is for sure. Thank you so much for watching my video where I smoked some grape flavored backwoods cigars. Why well, I smoked some. I smoked one grape flavored backwoods cigar from Mexico though. If you guys have enjoyed watching this video, of course, please make sure to well like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my P.O. Box, and my second channel all in the description down below. Go check it all out. Vienna, thank you so much for watching, y'all. Till the next one, stay safe and peace and have a great one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying?